so guys hello everyone uh, this would be the map what I was mentioning in the previous video so here are the main and major events from the book of Daniel I put in also two verses from Zachariah 14 that's the verse 1 and the verse 2 so yeah I hope I made it that is everything seenable clearly I can start to present it how it is and how it will be because from the prophet Daniel if you made the mat it doesn't let you go otherwise so we can start the last seven years it is the last 2520 days how it's seenable here it's equal seven years that means 30 days prophetical month every month is 30 day long so seven times seven years by 360 days it is 2520 days so these seven years how I explained in the previous video it's mentioned <coughs> first time only one time by the way <laughs> in the chapter 9 of the book of Daniel in the verse 27 so this is it I can read the verse and I can start to explaining the stuff what will be <clears throat> and how it will happen so he shall make a strong covenant with many for one week that means Israel will make a covenant with many for for one week I think this is the reason that it is the last one of the reason that it is the last seven years because when you can see in the upcoming last years that Israel is making a strong covenant with 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 many in the in the in the uh, how they call how they how i can say they are making the abrahamic covenant a peace agreement with many they made the peace agreement with with egypt peace agreement with jordan now they are working on peace agreement with uh, sudan also what is most famous the last last days that's uh, it's uh, the peace agreement with uh, saudi arabia and and uh, and also without Saudi Arabia agrees <clears throat> Qatar and and uh, the United Arab Emirates are also in the upcoming peace agreements with Israel so this shows the beginning of the verse that this covenant can be that so why it doesn't happen with uh, with the destruction of the temple where the Jews are, Jews are teaching that the covenant was also for one week and in the middle of the week the sacrifice was ceased because of the grammar in the beginning of the verse covenant with many that time with the destruction of the temple was only one nation one kingdom one empire that was the Roman Empire so I don't see there other empires with whom Israel would make a covenant with many like it is written here in the verse 27 so that means 
that means the 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 verse is showing us the last seven years how i explained in the previous video each each daniel is escalating from the ancient time to the to the end time and it's separated from five to three three etapes let's say the chapter two with the uh, with the uh, statute of nabuchodnezzar there is the five kingdoms golden is the babylonia silver is the medo persian uh, bronze is the greek empire in a, in a iron we can find the islamic empire not the roman empire that's for sure and the last empire or the last last kingdom who is be, who will be the, the the revealed islamic empire in the feet with the clay and the iron that will be the the the, the ten coalition nation like we see in the, in the chapter 7 with the fourth beast he has the ten horns on his head and uh, the 11th king that was the 10 kings and the 11th king will take take over the take over the kingdom of these 10 nations and will uproot the three nations before him to make for himself rule how i was explaining to before in the video so we can see here very clearly that it is showing us something very important not just I, uh, like in one vision something and uh, if we go to the verse 24 what I can read now 70 weeks are declared for your people and your holy city so this is the people of Israel and the holy city is Jerusalem how explain for Daniel the Archangel Gabriel so and there are six points what never occurred in uh, our history I can read them and comment them to finish the transgression to finish the transgression it doesn't happen we always transgressing the commandment of God and this point is felt to second point is the, to put an end to sin second point is again clearly failing because we are always sinning we are we are we are we are going against god will and and we are sinning we are sinners so this will happen also after only after the 70 weeks the third point is and to atone for iniquity atoning atonement for iniqu our iniquity will be after after these days from here until here is the is the atonement for our iniquity and after these days it's the last seven seventy weeks this will happen after the these happenings in the great tribulation so this point again felt because we are still repenting and still are our bills quite high against God so to bring in the fourth point to bring in everlasting righteousness everlasting righteousness is is it's it's again failing because the everlasting righteousness will occur after this day when Messiah is establishing the kingdom of God and everlasting righteousness on earth so you can see here again clearly this point is felt sorry so the fifth point to seal both vision and the prophet to seal both vision and the prophet to seal the all what God gave through the visions of people and through the prophet that's true that uh, the, the Jews has no prophets already and visions already 2500 years maybe visions yes but prophets 
not what are what are really like we can see or call them prophet so they are saying this i was in in israel two months ago and uh, i was talking about this point with uh, some guys they were explaining me that it, this could happen could happen in the building of the second temple and this point was set up only for very 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 short time and then we we was transgressing and, and sinning and and broke up everything what we made with the second temple so when i said to them this point doesn't happen they were also surprised yes it it, it can be but for them they are teaching it that it happened with the second temple and the the, the, the so i'm saying the prophet are talking about these days daniel daniel is talking about these days precisely and to seal up visions and the prophet both are after these days so here we are closing the visions so and the last point the sixth one and to anoint a most holy place also anointing of the most holy place it is the temple some bible says anointing of the most holy so it can be also messiah or the holy place it is the 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 the, the most holy in the temple this will be also anointed after these days we can read the verse 14 chapter 8 in daniel's book and he answered me and he answered him for 2300 evenings and mornings then the sanctuary will be restored to its rightful state so after these days will be restored the the sanctuary and cleansed and also anointed by the messiah so we can see here as well this point with the second temple doesn't happen because this should happen also after the 70 weeks and after the 70 weeks if we if we say the temple was destroyed so yeah i don't agree if somebody says this happened or this could happen for a couple of of of, of time or, or a short time period and then we felt in everything i don't agree with this and and it the, the grammar in the verse 27 is also showing us the the covenant with many not with only one empire what was in the uh, year 70. so like this we can go to the first day day one this is the day of the dividing of israel into two states that day palestina becomes official state this is the day when we step into the last seven years this is the covenant with many and uh, and uh, I will read now the prophet Zachariah chapter 14 verse 1 because this verse uh, is showing us clearly that this will happen that Israel will be divided into two states just it is little bit little bit masked in the verse so i am reading the verse see a day is coming for the lord when the plunder taken from you will be divided in your midst so you can hear and see here the day of the dividing of israel into two states so this verse is clearly saying what will happen in the last days and with that happenings we are entering into the last seven years 
by the way I was working on this map for the last couple of years very very strongly and I had the whole everything every points I had I and uh, I have a Slovakian account where I'm where I'm uh, explaining the Daniel and always I was telling the first sign I don't know what is the first sign we know that it will be covenant with many but with whom or how I couldn't see I couldn't understand and before I went to Israel I received the the last the first sign like last and it was that Israel will be divided and I understood in the verse one the meaning I will read it one more time see a day is coming for the Lord so see a day is coming we are somewhere here before these days when the plunder taken from you will be divided in your midst so the plunder is the the state of Israel what is set up in 1948 when Israel became a state and from that day they want to make a Palestinian state they are working on it quite a lot I will put up some some stuff about it in the next video so you can see in this verse this is the first day also if we watch the, 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 the things what how they are working on <clears throat> the United Nations is very very much for to 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 make two state solution also the United States also the Saudi Arabian Kingdom is also their main point of the of the of the foreign affairs are to make a Palestinian state so we will see in the upcoming years what will happen so like this this is the first day so when they signed the the, the agreement that palestina became the official state we stepped in the last seven years it is very seriously set up it is i if you watch this map and you meditate over this map it's something really precisely set up everything step by step so we can go to the second second sign second sign is here one more thing i can say the second sign is the major sign what confirms that that was the covenant what we what about was talking daniel but we can see after this first day after agreement of and dividing of israel that the jews can go up to the temple mount because in these days jews can go up to the temple mount to pray even christians can go they they can go up to the temple mount only with police so after these days after the day when israel will be divided will became the temple mount open for them and also they can start to pray on it after 220 days from that day the day of the beginning of the sacrificial altar the jews will start the sacrificial altar on the temple mount this we can read clearly clearly it's not clearly because it's a it's a very coded language <coughs> so i'm reading the verse 13 and the verse 14 i'm reading the verse 13 then i heard a holy one speaking and another holy one said to the one that spoke for how long is this vision concerning the regular burnt offering the transgression that makes desolate and the giving over the sanctuary and the host to be trampled this is the 
vision, what saw, to, to sense, Daniel is seeing them, to, or hearing them, to talk in between each other. And they are, one is asking to the other, how long will take this happenings, this vision, what we saw concerning of the regular bird offering. In these days, Israel has no regular bird offering. So we have to count from the day when became the regular bird offering until the abomination of desolation, transgression, what makes desolate, that's, that's the, 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 the Abomination of desolation, what will be set up after the after altar will be shut down. And uh, the, the sanctuary will be, and the host will be trampled. So the host here is the, the Israeli people. The Jews will be trampled. So, and in verse 14 here, you can see we have the timeline. And he answered for 2,300 evenings and mornings. Then the sanctuary shall be restored to its rightful state. So from this date, when then they start the sanctuary altar until the end, completely end, where the sanctuary will be will be restored and, and cleansed and in it, it into its rightful state. It is it is 2300 evenings and mornings so it is 2300 days so <clears throat> we can go to the third major sign the third major sign is around these days i don't know which date it will be but around the around these days after the the altar start to work after these days around these days israel will start to build up the third temple we can see Chapter 11, verse 31, I choose, but it's ma on many places written about the temple. So, I'm reading the verse where is, where is mentioned the temple completely. Verse 31, forces sent by him shall occupy and profane the temple and fortresses they shall abolish the regular bird offering and set up the abomination that makes desolate so this is the invasion of israel this will be happening here but we will go there as well i will explain point by point so in those days the the, the, the jews will start to build up the the third temple everything will be cool in the Middle East will be peace, like it is written, chapter 11, 21. I have one Bible in Slovakian where it's written that in the days of peace, he will take over the, the, the kingdom. So also we can see that after, after signing the agreements in Israel and in the Middle East will be peace. So the peace will be 1185 days in those days the anti-messiah will take over the coalition of the ten nations and will invade some countries but i can read the verse 21 in the chapter 11 so because the verse 21 in chapter 11 starts the last seven years. I am reading the verse. In his place shall arise a contable person on whom royal majesty had not been conferred. He shall come in without warning and obtain the kingdom through intrigue. So this is the little horn who is taking over the kingdom. And we are going to the to the next sign. So around these days, we don't know exactly the, the days. I don't know exactly the days, but around these days here will erupt the first Egyptian war because it is written in the 
verse 25, by the army invaded the south, king of south, and in Daniel 7, verse, yeah, verse 24, chapter 7, where is written, the little horn, as I am reading the verse, Daniel 7, 24. As for the ten horns, out of this kingdom ten kings shall arise, and under them shall arise after them. This is the eleventh one. This is the little horn. This one shall be different from the former ones, and shall put down three kings. So, if we go to the verse, Daniel eleven twenty five. He shall stir up his power and determination against the king of the south with a great army. So this is the king of the south. I, I am I'm always telling that this will be Egypt, Libya and Ethiopia. How is written in the verse 43, uprooted. So there will be an Egyptian war. Egyptian war. Then I can read the verse 26, 27, 28 and up. Ah, sorry, verse 25. 25. He shall, I'm reading it from beginning. He shall stir up his power and determination against the king of south with a great army. And the king of south shall wage war with a much greater and stronger army. But he shall not succeed, for plots shall be devised against him so this is the description of what i said before by those who eat of the royal rations they shall break him his army shall be swiped away and many shall fall slain so the egyptian army will lose the two kings in the verse 27 the two kings their minds bent on evil shall sit at the one table and exchange lies they are in a peace table, exchanging lies, but it shall not succeed, for there remains an end and the time appointed. The time appointed is the next war, or they prepare, they want to make what we'll see. The next sign after this, he will return to, the, to his land. In the verse 28, he shall return to his land with great wealth, of course, but his heart shall be set against the Holy Covenant. The Holy Covenant is the Abrahamic Covenant, what will be made with many. You can see here also, this will be with many. He shall work his will and return to his own land. His land will be around Syria, Iraq, somewhere there. Verse 29, at the time appointed, we can see here, shall return and come into the south. But this time it shall not be as it was before. So he want to invade again the king of south, that's Egypt. And uh, verse 30 is describing for the ship of Kittim shall come against him and he shall lose heart and withdraw. So from the from the west, this is the the Mediterranean Sea. Comes the comes some 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 ships to help Egypt, and uh, this coalition, the guy will get afraid and he will return to his country. He shall be angered and take an action against the Holy Covenant. He shall turn back and pay heed to those who forsake the Holy Covenant. In those days, we can see these happenings in the in a TV everywhere. Like now about the Ukrainian-Russian war, there will be movements in the, in the Middle East and there will be happenings day by day described. And we can see there from this map that these are those days. We are at the, at the fifth, let's say, fifth uh, sign so, and that's verse 31. So, this is the second, around these days will be attempt of the second Egyptian war, what we were telling now in the verse 11, Daniel, verse 29 and 30. So, now we are going 
to the invasion of Israel, shutting down the sacrificial altar and setting up the abomination of desolation. This is written in many places in Daniel, but I choose Daniel 11.31, Daniel 12.11 and Zachariah 14.2. So Daniel 11.31, forces sent by him shall occupy and perform the temple and fortress. They shall abolish the regular burn offering and set up the abomination that makes desolate. So these days is the invasion of Israel. I will read also the verse 12 in 11, verse 11 in chapter 12 of Daniel. From the time that the regular burnt offering is taken away and the abomination of desolation is set up, there shall be 1290 days. So from this day here, from this day here, until the end what is here it's 1290 days this is this verse and the invasion of Israel is written nicely also in the verse 31 chapter 11 where the forces by him this is the this is the Gog from the land of Magog, who is sending his army to Israel, invade Israel. And I am reading now the verse 2, chapter 14 of Zechariah. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses looted, and the woman raped half the city shall go into exile but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city so it's clearly explained that half of the city will go to the exile or to the captivity to the nation surrounding israel this will be the half of the Jerusalem, because half of Jerusalem after dividing of Israel will become the Palestinian <coughs> capital. And after invasion of Israel, uh, those people who are living in Jerusalem will go to captivity to the nations surrounding Israel. So and the rest of the city will stay in in Jerusalem it is again the next the the the, the, the other half of the Israel uh, other half of Jerusalem will stay capital of Israel so those people will stay is uh, is in Jerusalem so this would be the invasion of 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 uh, of Israel from Zachariah and Daniel. So I say here, this is the 30 days anti-Messiah propaganda. There on the Temple Mount will be set up the abomination of desolation. And there will be 30 days between the 1290 and the 1260 days because the Daniel 12, 7 is telling us there will be one time, two times and half a time. This is 1260 days. Also in chapter 7 is says to us that it will be one time, two times and half a time. I don't know now. In the verse 25. So The 1260 days starts from 30 days until here. So there will be a propaganda to uh, at the Temple Mount. They will shut down the altar. There will be some statute or some something put up, and there will be some some stuff going on. And after 
30 days the, the stuff will start complete war in Israel and and will start the great tribulation so this is from here until the last days we can read uh, verse 7 in chapter 12 that is written about the about the 1260 days i'm reading the the verse the man clothed in linen who was upstream raised his right hand and his left hand toward heaven and i heard him swear by the one who lives forever that it would be for a time two times and half a time and that when the shuddering of the power of the holy people comes to an end all these things would be accomplished so we can see here the timeline of 1260 days if we go to the end here after those days to the chapter 11 verse 45 he shall pinch he shall pitch his palatial tents between the sea and the beautiful holy mountain this beautiful holy mountain is sin uh, sion the mount sion in jerusalem yet he shall come to his end with no one to help him so here gog and his army will be destroyed and after those they his power will, will be taken away and comes the last point also from the beginning the shutting down of the altar comes the 1335 days starts all with the beginning of the shutting down of the altar and ends in the last days completely I call it the last judgment. We can read the verse 12 of the chapter 12. Happy are those who preserve and attain the 1335 days. There is the 45 days judgment. Yeah, why I say the judgment because it's clearly written. Happy, as, happy are those people who are surviving these 45 last days so and after that we are stepping in the kingdom of god the sanctuary sanctuary is restored to the, his rightful state messiah is in the in between us so and if we watch how it will happen in these days when the beast is losing his power and the kingdom is given for the holy ones in the chapter 7 verse 11 of Daniel I watched then because of the noise of the arrogant words that the horn was speaking and as I watched, the beast was put to death and its body destroyed and given over to be burned with fire. As for the rest of the beast, their dominion was taken away, but their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. So we can see here, it's losing the power. The Messiah is on the earth and setting up the last stage for the last judgment and and also for the kingdom of the god what comes after these days so here i can show more like this 220 days will be between dividing of Israel and setting up the sacrificial altar. This is the from the first day until the setting up of the altar is 220 days. There will be 
965 days that the altar will work from the day here until they shutting shut it down it will be 965 days so yeah it is very detailed map for those days and uh, there is more much more to say about it but for the moment this is it i guess everything i explained good and you can understand from it maybe my 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 language is a little bit with with uh, some difficulties but i hope everything is explained good so this would be the map i hope you enjoyed the video if you can and you like the video please share the video subscribe on my channel i will make the upcoming videos with the with this theme of the last days and how we can prepare and what we can what we can do with to get in these days because this is the main point <laughs> to get after these days so yeah this would be everything about the map so i say hello amen and amen and see you next time